I really love headband styles, so today I'm bringing you a crossed lace braid headband. It is an intermediate style and will take about 15 minutes to do. It's getting colder here, so I'm just wetting her hair down at the roots and leaving the rest of her hair dry. I'm going to part the hair right at the ear, um, from ear to ear. This is going to be the headband section that we will be working with. Once I've got the hair parted um, ear to ear, I'm simply going to comb it out front to back so I don't have uh, flyaways from the bottom section in my top section. And I'm going to secure this back section out of the way with a ponytail holder or you can use a clip. I just need it out of the way. So this front section is what we are going to be working with. I'm going to make a part right down the middle of the forehead from the front to the back and then create two more sections going side to side. So I will have four equal sections when I'm done. Um, all of the sections that you aren't working with at the time you want to secure off with a clip. Um, I'm just using duckbill clips. If you don't have some, I will link them in the description below. So from here, I'm going to start on one of the sides by the ear and we are going to do a Dutch lace braid. Now, if you need a full tutorial on a Dutch lace braid, I'm going to link one in the description below so you can learn how to do one. Basically, it is a Dutch braid where you cross the hair underneath, but I'm only going to add hair to my braid from the front. So this ensures that the braid will stay close to the part line. You also want to pull it back towards that back part line while you are braiding so it is close to the part line. So cross the hair under to the middle, add hair to the front when you cross that front hair under, and then cross the back hair under. Add hair to the front, and then no hair to the back. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, um, check out my full tutorial. So from here, I'm going to come to this back opposite section, and I'm just going to start adding hair um, to the braid just like I did to the front, only adding hair when I cross the hair under from the front. So crossing it under, and then when I cross the hair under from the back, no hair is added in. Hair added in to the front, and none to the back. Now you wanna keep this um, style tight as you're braiding, and like I said, pull it towards the back part line. Once you've added all the hair in from both of these sections, you're simply going to braid down a little ways and then secure it with an elastic or a clip for now so that it's out of the way and we can do the other side. Um, now that you've seen the first side, we are simply going to repeat this on the second side. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more water and then I'm using leave-in conditioner to help style her hair and help with the flyaways um, with her hair today. So again, I'm sectioning off a small piece, separating it into three and doing a Dutch laid brace crossing under. Again, when I cross my front strand under, I'm going to add a strand of hair. When I cross my back strand under, no hair is added. And then just repeat this process until you run out of hair um, on this front section. Once you're out of hair, you're going to simply cross over your other Dutch braid and start adding hair from the opposite back section, just like we did. So your first Dutch braid will be crossing underneath um, and your second Dutch braid, you're just going to bring it over top. That's what gives it that really cute cross appearance. So once I have all of my hair added in on my second Dutch lace braid, I'm simply going to braid down a little bit and then I'm going to secure both of these pieces back behind her head. Now I realize after the fact that if you secure them back behind the head, you'll want to take a little uh, strand of hair to kind of anchor them to. You don't have to anchor them back behind the head. You can simply just put elastics in and leave them down. Um, the rest of the hair, when you pull it out of the ponytail, should cover it nicely and um, it's a super cute headband style to keep the bangs out of the face. So that is our finished style. We hope that you'll give us a thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to watch for a new video next Friday. See you next week. I'll see you next time.